250 million years ago, much of southwestern United States was covered by the Permian Sea. But as the land masses tilted, the water drained off, leaving landlocked seas exposed to the hot, dry climate. Deep within the breathtaking landscape of southeastern Utah, where the Colorado River winds through ancient stone and stark red cliffs cover the horizon. A pool of brilliant blue water catches the eye. These are not natural lakes. These are potash evaporation ponds, whose striking color forms a surreal contrast against the arid backdrop. This is the Moab Intrepid Potash Mine. Long before miners and machinery arrived, the region around Moab was witness to eons of geological drama, the landscape sculpted by wind and water for millions of years, hid beneath it an incredibly valuable deposit of salt and potash. This potash deposit, deep underground, formed over 300 million years ago. This area, once a bay full of seawater, became a hotbed for salt deposits. As the waters began to evaporate underneath an ancient sun, they left behind thick layers of potash and salt. The modern era of potash mining in Moab began with the establishment of the Texas Gulf Sulphur Company in the early 1960s. The company, initially focused on sulfur production in Texas, ventured into potash as part of a strategic diversification process. Tapping into the vast mineral resources of the area surrounding Moab, known as the Paradox Basin, the mine opened its doors in 1963 and began using conventional underground mining techniques to extract the valuable potash from beneath the earth. But what exactly is potash? Essentially, it refers to various mined and manufactured salts that contain potassium in water-soluble form, predominantly used as a fertilizer. No insects, no disease, and good weather. Yes, it's ready to cut. It's now or never. Potash improves water retention, yield, nutrient value, and disease resistance in food crops. As the mine continued with its operations, tragedy would strike quickly, as an explosion would take the lives of multiple workers at the mine, only months after opening its doors. On the afternoon of August 27, 1963, a routine day at the mine turned tragic. An explosion deep within the earth trapped 25 miners. The force of the blast was so powerful that it was felt at the surface, knocking workers off their feet. The explosion was caused by a deadly mix of methane and other explosive gases that had built up in an underground chamber at the mine. The rescue efforts were tense, with both local and state emergency teams responding to the scene. For three days and nights, the rescuers worked tirelessly, drilling through debris and coordinating with geological experts to safely reach the trapped miners. About 20 hours into the disaster, the rescuers made contact with two miners that had managed to find a pocket of breathable air. But not all were so lucky. Tragically, 18 of the 25 miners who had been trapped would not survive. Only seven would be rescued. The incident sparked a comprehensive review of mining safety protocols, leading to significant changes in industry practices particularly in gas detection and ventilation systems. How does the potash mine work, you may be wondering. The Moab mine employs a technique known as solution mining to extract the potassium salts deep from the earth. Water from the nearby Colorado River is injected into underground boreholes, dissolving the potash-rich layers of rock. The resulting brine is then pumped to the surface into large evaporation ponds. To enhance evaporation, a blue dye is added to the water. This speeds up the process by increasing solar absorption and helps monitor the concentration levels of the solution. As the water evaporates, the concentration of potash increases until it reaches a point where the salt can no longer remain dissolved and begins to precipitate out, settling at the bottom of the ponds. Once the pond has dried out, specialized machinery scrapes the crystallized potash from the pond floor, preparing it for processing and shipment. This potash is a key ingredient in fertilizer, making it a critical component in global agriculture. 
particularly in regions with arid soils and challenging growing conditions. Welcome back, guys. I'm at the Potash Ponds in Utah, near Moab. They're right behind me. This is the best viewpoint you can get to. I had to do some off-roading to get here. They're huge. They go back really far. If you guys are liking the video, leave a like, subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Um, got a lot more cool videos coming, so stay tuned. See you guys. The red cliffs watch over the bright blue ponds. Here, the mirage of a bright blue lake is not just a mirage. The air is silent and sun watches over you, sometimes like a protective parent and other times like a predatory bird. The Colorado River quietly sculpting a masterpiece.